is no point in saving dolphins without saving their habitat. And that's the bigger message. But you have to start someplace. So the answer to your question is, it's a starting place. You can get people interested in dolphins. You can probably get them interested in saving their habitat. It, it's all connected. And, and that's where this multi-billion dollar industry has failed miserably. For example, if you go to the Dolphinarium, they will not tell you about this issue I just told you about, the, the dolphins being slaughtered in the tuna nets. They're not going to tell you about the cove and how the captures uh, are the economic underpinning. You're, you're there for casual amusement. And so it, 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 it's not just about the dolphins at the Duisburg Zoo. It's as much about the German children who go there and are miseducated. It's the children. To teach a child not to step on a butterfly is as important to the child as it is the butterfly. And so it is true with these dolphin shows. What are they really learning at this dolphin show? I mean, anybody, any intelligent person having watched one of these shows would have to conclude, if they were honest with themselves, what they just witnessed was a spectacle of dominance. It's a form of bad education. It teaches us that dominance is good, dominance is right, dominance works. And they go out into the world and they're miseducated. They tell us that these dolphins in these buildings are ambassadors. They're actually victims. So just by simply telling the the audience, the kids, the truth. Look, they were born here, we made a mistake, we're doing the best we can. We're implementing birth control. I'm gonna put them through their exercises now because they have to use their muscles so they don't atrophy, and that's why they're jumping. It's not for your amusement. You should never applaud a wild animal performing for you. That's what they should be telling the children instead of encouraging them to applaud a spectacle of dominance. Captivity is more stressful for the dolphin than any other animal in the zoo. And it's the only animal in the zoo, if you notice, that has to actually do a show in order to be fed. The solution, I think, and I've wrestled with this for years to the dolphin captivity issue, is one, stop capturing dolphins from the wild. That's the first step. And that's happening pretty much. There's still some captures taking place in in Taiji and a few other places. Number two is those that can be released into the wild, and not all of them can, they should be, rehabilitated and released into the wild. Those that were born in captivity and cannot be released into the wild should be removed to a natural sea pen somewhere, a sanctuary if you will, where they can once again experience the natural rhythms of the sea and the tide and the current, these simple things that we take for granted. I say once again experience, I'm, I, that's, that's a misnomer because many of them, there are many in Europe who were born inside of a building. The dolphins in these buildings, in these concrete tanks that were born there, have never experienced the natural rhythms of the sea. They don't even know what the sea is. They don't know what a live fish is. They think that the ceiling is the sky. These are freaks that we created for our amusement. And they're in Belgium, they're in a lot of places in Europe. It has no social redeeming value whatsoever. And these places can be phased out gently in a, in a kind and gentle way by simply implementing birth control and stopping the show and telling the truth. So there is a way for some of these places, like Connie Land, which I think will close soon in, in Switzerland, because they can't import anymore. And I'm going there, I'm gonna try and convince them to do the right thing by simply telling the truth. The truth will set them free.